け翼鍛え上げたこの肉体で勝利をつかんでみせる僕が強引にでも突破して道を開くゴールに向かって遠くを突破だ Welcome to another episode of Ike Tsubasa. I'm, of course, your host, Chrono Cloud, and we are here to talk about Dreamfest. The new character out this month is Stefan Levin, back in his Munich kit. And, of course, we've got the 2021 championships upon us as well. Is this Levin going to make the difference in your team? Let's find out together. Ike! Stefan Levin, Munich's noble knight, is an agility type Swedish attacker that plays for the German giants Munich alongside Schneider, Zhao, and Genzo. His team skill is not relevant for PvP, and his passive is similar to the Dreamfest Fire Emperor Attack at the Scene of the Fire, enhancing his special skill force up to 20%, pegged to the amount of remaining stamina he has. The lower the stamina, the higher the bonus. Levin comes with a nifty 3.5 bond requiring four or more non Japanese players and a hefty 4% stats handicap resistance. Great to have against debuff teams. He gets a 5% stat bonus after winning a matchup and a 5% special skill force enhancement for combination skills. Lastly, and most importantly, tenacity allows Levin to use special skills as long as there's at least one stamina left. This is crucial for him, as it makes it a lot easier to get the full 20% bonus from his passive. Levin has more than 72k stats in total, and more than 30k of that goes to attack, with all of his offensive options over 10k. Defensive stats look sound as well, but not very speedy with only 5.7k speed. We'd suggest an attacker build, and boundary breaking is encouraged to maximize his full potential. The best case scenario is to have all stats maxed out since he has access to great S rank utility skills. We've included the 5% matchup win bonus for his offensive options listed on the right of the table. Now, let's go through his skill forces. We've applied 5% for all his combination skills. With the higher figure showing the maximum potential when all the conditions are met, and the lower figure is what he offers when he's fresh on the pitch. Levin's Dragon's Roar is capable of breaching 100k as his last shot after winning a matchup, but it's still over 99k even without his win matchup bonus. We omitted Levin's Volley as it's not as threatening as his presented options. Recommended skills are marked with a star. We feel that it's better to have Levin boundary broken as loading him up with tackle and additional shot will be optimal. Final thoughts Munich's Noble Knight is part of a stellar group aiming to win the Champions League. Levin is yet another potential goal threat with the deadly combo of attack at the scene of a fire and tenacity. Although he is reliant on you draining him to reach his full potential, he does have access to an array of good skills. Furthermore, 3.5% bonds with 4% shields definitely helps with any debuff teams you might face in PvP. And now it's time for Chrono Cloud's Corner. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we are in round three of the 2021 Captain Tsubasa Championships. I'm in round three. I'm sure that many of you listening to me are in round three. So, to all of my fellow players, I wanted to wish you the best of luck. There are some interesting changes from last year.、Uh, the first one being that the top eight are going to be going to the finals from each region, as opposed to the top 10. And the other interesting thing is that 
instead of uh, 20 matches, which well, I think it was last year, there's only seven matches that are going to be calculated. So I think many people are going to be playing their matches over and over and over again, trying to maximize their score. It's also interesting to me because I think there's a lot of viable builds out there. There's a lot of good players that you can score with. There's a lot of good uh, goalkeeper options out there as well. Some are better than others, but I do think the important thing is that people have options. Having said that, I do think that the Dutch brothers from the Dream Collection, Stein and Brian, are, uh, you know, give you an advantage right? I think there's no hard counters for them. They have a lot of offensive options. They have a lot of ways of getting into the box to score. So I think anyone playing with them has a slight advantage over the competition. But I am curious, what do you guys think is the optimal team for this championship? Let me know in the comments down below and don't be surprised if we match up in round three. On behalf of EK Tsubasa, I would like to thank all our members on Patreon and YouTube. Your support is very much appreciated and it motivates us. It's also one of the reasons why we've been working tirelessly to keep the channel running and making videos for everyone. Here's some bonus information as a form of reward for those that keep watching till this point. All right, guys. Do check out ways to support us or at least take a look. Links provided in the video description. Check out our other videos listed here by YouTube. Subscribe, and if you haven't, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I've been your host, Chrono Cloud. May the gacha gods bless your pulls today and every day. Ike!